Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today we're going over our next theme team. Uh, the theme team we're going over today is the Bills. Uh, I had a community tab going on on my community. I had a, I had a community poll going on my community tab for like the last two days. And for the last two days, I pick I put between the Bills, the Ravens, and the Dolphins. So everybody been picking the uh, the Bills. So we're going over the Bills right now. So for right now, this lineup costs almost three million coins to make. But that million coin is because of maybe like three or a couple four three to four players. As you can see right here, uh, they also uh, Bill Bloods, uh Drew Bloodsoe is part of the uh, the Bills team, team, which is going for like 500k. And then you got Ryan Fitzpatrick is going for another 500. Marshall Lynch is going for another 500, and Andre Reed is going for another 3, 3, 3 to 400k. So right now, um, we're gonna start off with the offensive line. Uh, the Bills so far as a team team that I went over is probably one of the few team teams that have a full elite old linemen. Uh, they're not the highest overall, but they are elite. You got Deion Dawkins, uh, Ryan Saffold, uh, Mitch Morris, and Ryan Teller. And then you have David. I'm not. I don't know, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna pronounce the name because the name is so long that it's, it's not even on the card right there. And then at tight end you got uh David uh uh Do Dawson Knox and Logan Ryan and you also got OJ Howard. I think OJ Howard has a has another card, but I'm not really sure. So right here you have um Dawson Dawson Knox. He got 83 speed, so on the team he's gonna have 86, 85 speed. Uh, he have a very decent run block. Um, of course, match up against Dave Casper. He's gonna be outmatched. But this this is a solid. Uh, this is this is a very solid tight end. Uh, he can also run block. There's a lot of things. As you can see right here, 99. Uh, Jerry, Jeremy Shockey doesn't even have good run block. So, uh, I think Dustin Knox is a very good blocking tight end if you need one. All right, now let's go to the quarterbacks. Like I was already mentioned that you have Drew Bledsoe, which gets set for lead, and then you got uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick. Ryan Fitzpatrick also gets for lead, set for lead. So these these quarterbacks right here is pretty pretty good. Um, on who you should decide that you want to do is uh is very, it's very up to you, very much up to you, cause you got Drew Bledsoe right here, and Ryan Fitzpatrick. So you got two of the best. Two of the best on uh, QBs in the game. I was trying to compare um, Ryan Fitzpatrick to Drew Bledsoe. It looks like I'm not able to do that. Uh, for me, uh, I think Drew Bledsoe is the best quarterback to use instead of Ryan Fitzpatrick due to the release being much faster on Drew Bledsoe, but he is also slower. So that's 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 a plus. That's a minus there. But I think if you're gonna build a team, team I think you should use Drew Bledsoe due to him being have a, having a faster release. Um, for the running back, uh, they got uh, Marshawn Lynch and David uh, De uh, Devin Singletary. Uh, I think Marshawn Lynch is a very expensive running back to right now. So if you want a running back, you might have to go with David uh, Devin Singletary as your running back. He's probably going to 450k or probably like 80k now. And you got uh, Marshawn Lynch going for like five something. And Marshawn Lynch uh, by far is probably one of the best running backs in the game. He got 90 speed, 87 excel. 90 speed, 87 excel. Maximum next to Christian McCaffrey. It's almost, oh my god. It's almost a no brainer, man. As you can see right here, he takes Christian McCaffrey over everything except for excel, agility, carrying, and catching. Uh, of course, uh, I think him having a 60 catch might mean that he might drop a couple passes. Um, so, that is beast mode right there. And then right here, you got a, a decent wide right receiving core. A little bit slow, but decent. Uh, as you can see, you got uh, Andre Reid right here. I think Andre Reid is probably like still the top five best wide right receivers in the game, even though the Chad Johnson came, even though uh, Herman Moore is still here. But I think uh, uh, Andre Reid is probably one of the best wide right receivers, like the best, more well-rounded due to him having a good route running, good speed. So, on a team team, uh, Andre Reed, like on a full team team, Andre Reed's going to be around. Oh, he's only going for eight, 180K. Oh, that's on Xbox. But Andre Reed right now is is got 88 speed, 87 jumping, 88 catching, 89 catching traffic, 88 expect catch, 88 short round running, 87 medium round running. So, this guy looks very, very good. Uh, you can't really compare him to anybody else uh, on the Bill Simpson right now. But the next the next wide receiver we have is 
Gabriel Davis. Uh, this guy is also a very good, very, very good card. Uh, on the team team, he's decent. Even though, to me, I'm not using him right now. On the team team, he's decent. He got 86 speed. I think he also come in built in with outside apprentice if you guys need that. He's going to have 87 speed. He's going to have um, a very decent excel. His route running is kind of not over the 90, so this card is all right. But I feel like the, this is the only thing that hurts the Bills. They don't have a very good receiving core. But the, the quarterback and the running back is good. And the next, the the second receiver you have, or the third, I, can, I should say, is um, Robert Wood. Robert Wood comes in with Slotomatic. I think that, that's where they give you better cuts uh, in, in the slot. Uh, he got 85 speed, same as uh, Gabriel, which is going to on the team team. He's going to have 87. So... I have not used Slotomatic yet, but I think it should help him with uh, getting open, so his route running really doesn't matter. But that's if you choose to to activate that ability. But he definitely gets um, 87 speed, 85 catching, 82 catching traffic, uh, 87 short route running, and 87 uh, medium, and 82 deep. So this is a very decent card. And right now, uh, the Bills is uh, one of the few team teams that actually has a fullback. You got Reggie Gilliam. He got a decent speed as a fullback also. And you got Stefan Diggs as a fourth round receiver. You got 85 speed. It's just like a whole team full of 85 speed receivers, man. I don't get it. But uh, trust me, these just me, the Bills, the way the Bills been playing lately, they definitely going to keep getting upgrades throughout the year. Uh, you got uh, Stefan Diggs with 85 speed, 83 jumping, 82 uh, short route running, 83 medium, and 85 D route running. This card looks very, very, very good. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure uh, uh, Stefan is definitely going to get another upgrade uh, sooner than later because due to him balling out so far. So, so far the offense looks good, but not lethal. Now, let's go to the defensive side. The defensive side is where the Bills tend to make their money due to them being so good. Look at this defense, bro. If you tell me this defense doesn't look crazy, it's insane. They got uh, Stefan Grimoire, so everybody can get this Stefan Grimoire from the... From the power on uh, the leveling up fast. Um, if you guys didn't see yesterday, ESPN finally gave out all the XP. So, and at, at, at your first corner, you got uh, Stefan Gilmore. Like, you got Stefan Gilmore with 87 speed, 89 Excel. Uh, so, that means on the 10th team, he's going to have 80, 89 speed with 91 Excel. So, he's going to have that's going to be very good. 89 man, uh, 87 play rank, uh, 88 zone, and 89 press. So this card looks very, very good and insane. He was stacked up well next to a new card that came out yet today or yesterday. Uh, Charles Woodson. He still looked good, so uh I wouldn't spend I wouldn't spend six hundred K on Wild Woodson. Just just how I feel. Receivers, uh the corners are just retarded. You can just get a lower overall corner and do the same thing that Rod Wilson is doing. I'm just saying that's my opinion. And the next corner we have is Kyler Elam, uh, I forgot to mention, if you guys are a Bill fan, I remember throughout the game a couple days ago, um, one of the Bills corners got injured, uh, I don't see him here, but bless up to that boy, uh, right here you got a corner, um, uh, on the team team, Kyler Elam going to be 88 speed, 86 excel, so he's, on the team team, he's a solid corner, because he got a faster speed and faster excel, yeah, uh, you're going to have 88 speed, 86 excel, Gonna have 85 jumping, 86 zone, uh, and 86 press. So this card looks very, very good. Um, if it wasn't for him being so slow, I'll probably still be using it on my team. But uh, Kyle Elam looks very good, and also Kyle Elam 62 and Stefan Grimaldi 61. So they're not short corners, guys. It's not a lot of people gonna moss them, except for Tredavious White. Tredavious is. Tredavious White is 5'11", but the thing is, you can just put him in the slot so he won't get uh, Moss on the outside. So Tredavious White got 85 speed. On the team team, he's going to have 87. Uh, he's going to have 88, uh, 88 Excel, 85, 84, uh, 84 Agility. He's going to have 87 Play Rec. He's going to have an 83 Man, 86 Zone, and 83 Press. So this card looks very, very good on the team team. In the slot, I wouldn't put uh, Tredavious White on the outside. Now you still got a couple cards right here. You got Ronald Darby, 
which got decent speed, and you got uh, Tremaine Johnson. So, like I was saying, for the Bills team team right now, they defense, the passers on this team team is crazy. To start off with, you got Von Miller right here. Von Miller is going to go crazy. When I say Von Miller is going to go crazy, he got 84 speed on the team team. He's going to have 86 speed, 85, 87 excel. 89 pursuit, 89 tackling, 89 play rec, 91 block shed, 90 power move, and 88 finesse move. So on the team team, this guy is gonna be insane. He's gonna be one of the faster cards, one of the faster, one of the faster cards in the game with all these uh, attributes, which looks crazy already. And then, not to mention, they also have Bruce Smith in the pass rush game. Where Bruce Smith got 83 speed on the team team. He's going to have 85 speed. 85 speed, 87 excel, 88. Uh, he's going to have 90 strength. Uh, 88 tackling, 85 play rec, 88, pro, uh, 88 block shot, 89 power move, and 86 finesse move. Those two cards alone just make up a, a very solid pass rush. And then you add Sam Adams, which Sam Adams is a team captain, which can go on every, every team team out there. And also you got you got another corner that if you can pick, you can pick a corner right receiver or a fullback if you want uh, with a team captain. I just find that uh, using him as as a D tackle is the best route to go. You get that inside stuff for two. And then those two those two cards right there will help you go crazy. And then they both get S threat like Von Miller and. Bruce Smith gets S threat, and I even think they get under pressure too. I'm not 100 percent sure on under pressure, but they, I know they both will get an uh, edge threat, so you can have two edge threat on the, on the team team without going out and in, in, without going outside the team team to get edge threat. So that's that's also very a good a good point right there. And you got Tremaine Edmonds that came out uh, that came out yesterday. Tremaine Edmonds got 88, 86 speed, so on the team team he's gonna have 88 speed, 86 uh, 86 excel, 89 pursuit, 88 tackling, 80, 83 play rec, um, 88. Block shed, 91 power move, and 77 on uh, zone. So the thing about Tremaine Edmund is he's 6'5", 250. So this card could be a very, very good user. So I'm saying that if you're a Bills team team and you have Tremaine Edmund on, in your lineup, he could be a crazy user. Just, just me thinking about it right now, a 6'5 user right now in Madden 23 would go crazy. Cause a lot of people just throw the ball. They see standing in the, right there. They just throw the ball, not getting, not caring how tall your guy is, and then just throw the ball up. So if you have a six-five user, bro, a middle linebacker with lurker, he'll go crazy. And also, Tremaine Edmond gets inside stuff for two. And this is the last guy we're gonna go over, guys. We got Michael Hyde. Uh, Michael Hyde is probably still one of the best safeties in the game right now. Uh, still got one of the fastest speed, even though you got Charles Woodson. Jordan Whitehead, not Charles Wilson, but Rod Wilson. Jordan Whitehead, you got Javon Kirk, Javon Holland, and Rodney Lott, and Michael. Yeah, I think uh, he's still in the top five best strong safeties in the game right now. He goes crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and go over the speed. He got 88 uh, on the team. He's going to have um, 90 speed, 88 excel, uh, 82 tackling, 89 play rec, 86 pursuit, 86 zone, 89 I mean, 89 zone, 86 man coverage, and 72 hit power. That's that 75 hit power is disgusting. But you don't need them to make hit stick. No matter how how much hit power you have, these cards do not fumble. So, and then the next guy I didn't go over because I don't really, I don't really know what he has. Uh, I don't know if he's a pass rusher. I'm guessing if he's a right outside linebacker, you can use him as a pass rusher. So he got 83 speed, 86 or sell. On the team, he's gonna have 85 speed, 80, 80, 80, 88 excel, 85 pursuit, 86 tackling, 82 player. So if you wanna have this guy rushing, you can have this guy rushing, but I don't think he's gonna get an extra or anything like that. So yeah, that is the Bills team team. Uh, let's see if I think you, you guys do have a yep, you guys do have a elite kicker and elite punter, so that's also good. That's all. That is very also good. Uh, right, let me let's check the kicker's power. Hit kick kick power. The kick power on the kicker is uh, 84. So it's probably one of the best you can have, besides Justin Tucker, or this guy right here. 
because Justin Tucker got 87 kit power. This guy got hit 86. And the next guy has 85. Grant Gunner got 85. So, these cards look good. The kickers look very fine. Because uh, I currently use the 84 uh, kick power kicker. He doesn't make a kick. He can make a kick all the way from 80 something yards out. So, these cards look very good, man. I'm not even going to lie to you. These cards look very much crazy. Uh, that is, this is the Bill Titan, guys. Also, I didn't even mention, you don't even have to get Ryan Fitzpatrick or Drew Blossom because you still have Josh Allen as your quarterback. And Josh Allen is like an 88 overall, one of the best releases in the game. So, you don't even have to spend that much on Drew Blossom and uh, Drew Blossom on Ryan Fitzpatrick. You go ahead and get you Josh Allen. Josh Allen is also an 88 overall quarterback. So this guy, uh, these, uh, I'm pretty sure Josh Allen is probably going for 100k right now. Then that is going to lessen the cost of building this team team. But that is the Bills team team, guys. This team team looks crazy, especially on the defensive side. The offense is very mediocre. But that is it for this channel, guys. If you guys want to see me do another team team, you guys let that, let me know down down below in the comments which team team you guys would like for me to go over. And my guy out, man. Peace.